Good morning, guys. So today is the day we go get Louise's new friend. Um, so I haven't left yet. I just came out and did chores. Fed these guys so everybody's happy. I did separate the Borders horses. I don't know if you can tell from Mesa May. And yeah, so everyone's eating breakfast. Um, I went and got hay yesterday. You know what's really irritating? I've been talking to this one guy for a week about getting round bales from him. And so Friday afternoon, I messaged him like about Saturday morning, like is there a time in the morning that will work for you? Um, no response. And so I messaged like two other people that had round bales, no response. And I was like, okay, what the hell? Um, so I got some big squares from a different guy and these are working, but I've already used this bale ends right here. I've already used all of that and I've only had them overnight. So they're kind of expensive and they're smaller than round bales, but it's pretty good hay. So there's that, but yeah. So I need to unhook the hay trailer and hook it up to my orange trailer before we go. And I need to check my orange trailer's tires and stuff because it really hasn't moved all winter. Um, yeah, I would take my little trailer, but I don't know if this horse will get in it and I don't want to get there and find out that he won't. So, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and get this unhooked and I'll let you know, I'll let you guys know when, when I'm leaving pretty much. Still got like a little over an hour yet. All right, guys, I just got all of the tires aired up good enough and door. Okay. Um, so pretty much ready to go. I just need to grab my wallet so I can stop at the gas station. And then I think that's it. So yeah, I guess I'll update you when I'm on my way there. <laughs> Sorry, Yoki. <laughs> All right, guys, I just picked him up. He's a big boy. Um, he looks so much like soccer. It's kind of uncanny. Probably a similar size. He's pretty big. 15'3", um, maybe. But yeah, um, so he's in the trailer. We're on our way home and I will update you guys a little bit more on him once I get him home. I want to keep an eye on him for an hour or two and just make sure like he's calm and doesn't, you know, gets along with Louise and they kind of meet, so. All right guys, we're here. Just got here. Oh my God, I wasn't sure that we were gonna make it up the lane because it's so soft. What do you think, dude? Are you ready to meet your friend? He's checking things out. You ready to meet your friend? <laughs> I saw her just up over the hill when we came up. So I'm gonna leave him in here for now. I wanna get like the necessary gates and stuff closed. Louise is up there, she's being shy. I think she heard him though. I'm gonna open this gate. I'm gonna bring him in through this gate up here, I think. Okay, it's been a ridiculously long time at this point, but we got the four-wheeler and stuff out of this shed, and I think I'm just gonna put him in there. And if he does well in there, I'm gonna leave him in there for a day or two. Louise has not tried to come up. I don't even know where she went. So she might just be keeping her distance um, for now, which is fine. But if I leave him in here for a couple days to kind of settle and get used to the area before I let him out. And, um, so he can test this fence that I put up, but yeah, I guess, I guess I can get him out now.
the boy. Mm -hmm. Found Louise <laughs> way back there. What are you doing, lady? Oh, you see him? Patrick is currently in the shed. I have him tied in there and he is having a hissy fit. So, I don't know. Um, I might just have to leave him in there till he cools down a bit. And I would like to see if Louise would come up and like just kind of meet him a little so maybe he won't be so, you know, by himself. What are you doing, babe? Good girl. I got some goodies for her. You come in? I know somebody's making a lot of noise up there. Kind of weird. Good girl. You can eat some pellets. Oh, good girl, who's up there? There's somebody here for you. Yeah, we can take it slow. Yeah. I know you guys eat it out of my hand. There you go. Don't come up. All right. Just keeping a watch on her. If she spooks or anything. You come check things out. Let's see who's up here. You come in. Good girl. Girl. You gonna meet the new guy? He's in there. Oh, my goodness. Did you, did you see her like jump? Yeah, you can just take it slow. Good girl. Good girl, Louise. Good job. He's so brave. He's in there, tucked up against the barriers. Let's get set. Go shut those. You're okay. Oh, easy. Oh, you're okay, baby. <laughs> She's like. I don't know who's in there. You probably banged on something with my leg. You're okay. See, I can do it. Easy. You're fine. Put this a little farther away. She can just get used to him yelling at her. You're okay, baby. Good girl. You're fine. Good girl. You're okay. Good girl, you're okay. Good girl, Elise. You just hang out over there. She is officially fenced in, so hopefully she doesn't try to, you know, bulldoze anything. Would be really great if she didn't. I should try to get her some water too, though. I have his bucket in here. I don't know if I'm gonna untie him or not yet, but um, I don't know. He needs to just cool the hell down for a little bit, but I will try and get her some, some water somewhere. All right, I'm getting some water to carry up there for her, but she's standing up there. And she's not quite sure if she wants to go closer or not. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Wait, are you still hiding? <laughs> she's like, yep. I fenced it and now I can't get out. <laughs> she has actually been kind of pacing back here in this area because she's like, doesn't know what to do because she can't leave. Hey baby, I brought her some hay. We just went and got some grass bales and one of them broke, so I'm gonna see if she... Hey baby. What? Are you all spooky mess right now? Yeah. Some grass. 
Good girl. Eat something. You can eat it. <laughs> She's like, I don't know what that is. Good girl. Yes. Good girl. Let me scratch you. Good girl. Good girls. I know what's going on. The horsey in there. He's yelling at you. I know. You'll be okay. You'll get used to it. Just some change. Hmm? It sure looks familiar, doesn't it, guys? Got those white socks and all. Need a pet. I'm offering him a drink before I leave him here. I don't totally trust him yet to just be here, in here alone. So I'm gonna offer him a drink before I leave. He's got plenty of hay, a mountain of hay, to munch on overnight. I know, the wheat doesn't want to come be a friend. So get used to you. She just don't know what to do with herself. All right, find your back up. You had your chance. You got plenty to eat. I don't think you'll go hungry or bored. All right, guys, it's the next day and I just got home from work, literally just got home and put some mud boots on and got in my truck. And I am gonna head next door and check on Louise and Patrick. Uh, Oakley's taking a nap, she looks so cute. Um, I'm gonna go over there and check on them. I left Patrick in the shed last night, so um, we'll see how he's doing in there. <laughs> we'll see if Louise hopefully is still in the fence. Um, she did get zapped by it a couple times yesterday because she was trying to figure out how she could run off and avoid this situation, <laughs> but hopefully she stayed in it um, and got used to him a little bit. Uh, so yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go over there and see how things are. <laughs> Louise, what'd you think? Wonder if she ate any of that hay I gave her yesterday. Doesn't look like she's picked up her own bill. Patrick, you being a good boy? <laughs> Still where you're supposed to be? That's a good boy. <laughs> Can you take things out? Get a drink. I know you're thirsty, so get a drink. I think he's trying to look for Louise over there. She's too scared to come see you. She'll get used to you. I hope. <laughs> Hopefully. All right, well, I'm not standing with you here forever, so I'm gonna tie you. Good girl, babe. Do you see him over there? Ah, oh, I can eat. Here, eat some foods. Looks like she did eat that hay that I brought her yesterday. Oh my goodness. It's okay, he just wants to be friends. <laughs> She's so sweet. She just doesn't know. Oh, my goodness. He speaks. <sighs> All right, well. I brought her a little bit more hay and I brought her some water too because I've got a water tub up there but I highly doubt that she's walking up there. Um, so she's got this. Patrick, I gave him a big hay net full. Tied him by the water tub too so he could get a drink. Um, I think I'm gonna give him just a little bit of grain in this before I leave. All right guys, it's... Is it day three or two? Today's Tuesday. I got him on Sunday, so I guess it's two and a half days. I don't know. <laughs> um, Louise is still standing over here on the other side of the round bale, so she's still still being shy. What are you doing, lady? You staying in your fence like a good horse? Patrick's standing like a gentleman. Good boy. Oh. 
you think, Mama? You ate your hay like a good girl. And you drank all your water. Good girl. I think you some food. I'm gonna save a little bit for your friend. Good girl. Can I give you scratchies? Good girl. Yeah. I'm shedding. Good girl. Oh, I was just looking under her. It looked weird. But I'm gonna grab her a little bit more water over here. I might even move the water pan maybe closer to the round bale. I'd like her to start eating off this before it gets gross and bad. I need to cut those strings off and... Hi, you! Time to eat food. take a scoop of his poop and hay that he peed on. And I'm gonna take it over by Louise just in case she wants to come up and sniff it. She's hiding over here because I let him just loose in the shed right now while I'm here. I think I'll probably put him back on his tie before I leave because I don't totally trust him completely alone. What do you think, Louise? Here, come sniff this poop. <laughs> Yeah, you're okay. Can we sniff it? it smells like a man. <laughs> oh my goodness. I gotta pick up that metal crap too. Keep forgetting about it. Good girl. Just sniff it. She's using this down tree as like a barrier in between her and the shed so she can't look at him. I'm not sure what my boyfriend did, but he was just out here a little bit ago doing farm chores for the cattle and stuff. And Louise is all the way up here by the round bale now. He must have given her some grain up here. I mean, she can fully see him now. You can't tell because of all the brush and stuff, but she can fully see him now and she's just checking him out. Cool. She might be checking out that round bale too. She just hasn't been brave enough to come up that close to it. All right, guys, it's officially day four, I think, um, since Pat came home. And Louise has gotten comfortable. <laughs> what do you think? She's finally gotten comfortable looking at him. She can accept his existence, finally. So this is really good progress so far. I'm not sure if she would be ready for me to get him out yet or not. Um, I'm really debating like if I get him out and just tie him right here to one of these trees to clean out his stall and then I can put him back in here or if I should just let her continue. Cause she's always been kind of afraid of up here in the shed. She probably will never use the shed, maybe but she's always been kind of afraid of the shed. So I don't know if this is just like, she doesn't want to come up to the building or she still just doesn't want to come up to him. But yeah, I just gave him a little bit of food. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean out in here. What do you think? You wanna make friends? <laughs> so cute. Look at her face. She's so cute. All right, guys, I got the thing open. I think I'm going to tie him over there. This might go good. This might go really bad. What well, we're going to find out. Hey, wait for me. Oh 
boy. Hey. Don't you run me over. Hey. Good girl. She's gonna trot off. That's okay. He's like, what? He's out of the box. <laughs> I'm just gonna tie him up. All right, I got him tied out. He's inspecting this fence very carefully, the hot wire. Louise went back over behind her tree, but that's okay. She's never seen him out here before, so not a big deal. Just gonna let him check things out. <laughs> She's still paying attention to him, but yeah, anyway. Well, don't be an idiot, please. <laughs> What's he doing? Good Lord. Really? You're scaring Louise. Look at these two. She's eating by him. I put a little pile of hay over there for her. But she feels comfortable enough to put her head down and eat. And her ears aren't totally fixed on him. So that's good. That's good. She's getting more comfortable with him being over there. Still hasn't been brave enough to come sniff yet. But I don't know. I'm still trying to decide if I put him back in tonight. I would honestly, I would leave him tied there overnight, but I think it might start to rain or snow tonight. And probably not fair to make him stand in that one spot all night in the snow. But yeah. Louise, be nice. Oh boy, Patrick. Patrick. Good girl, Louise. Good girl. Still got his leap rope on. Good boy, Pat. She's like, mm, I don't know what to do about this. He's in my half. He's in my half a lot. <laughs> Good girl, you're okay. Good girl, see he's not that scary. Goodness, got my adrenaline going. Be nice, Louise. Oh, girl. God, she's so big. Good girl. See, he doesn't even want to bother you. Like, well, that horse just beats me up, so that's not cool. Yeah. 
All right, bud, you come through this way. Go, girl. Checking it out, Pat? Good boy. Good boy. Good girl, Louise. Good job. Yeah, he's not that bad. Good girl. Okay, guys, it's been a whole 24 hours. <sighs> I'm gonna walk up this hill. And everyone's still alive. So that's pretty impressive. Louise, have you been nice? So, I think this is it, y'all. It's gonna be it for this video. I'm gonna take his halter off while I'm here too. But, uh, oh, they started eating the bale, good. We're just gonna have to get used to each other and warm up to each other. All right, guys, everyone's happily eating grain. I'm gonna go ahead and end off this video here. So thank you guys so much for tuning in for this whole thing with Louise, if you've watched the last few videos about it. Um, it's kind of been a process, but I'm really glad that she's adjusting to him. I did not want him to get hurt or her have to end up living by herself if she couldn't adjust to him. So I think they will get to know each other and tolerate each other the more time goes on. But um, yeah, that's all for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what else you want to see down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.